As soon as you get into the online investment communities, whether it's stocks, cryptocurrency, or NFTs, you're gonna start seeing two terms thrown around like daggers, diamond hands and paper hands. On a large scale, the online investment communities like Wall Street Bets on Reddit will praise and applaud someone who holds onto their investment or hodls it, especially in a bear market. And you see this both when the markets go up as well as when they go down. Because when the market is going up, everyone is screaming diamond hands to encourage holding. Because without diamond hands, how is your investment really gonna take you to the moon? And anyone who sells during this bull run is labeled paper hands and is forevermore an outcast from society. And of course, when the market is going down, what is everyone yelling? Diamond hands. After all, the famous saying from George Patton goes, pressure makes diamond hands and selling makes paper hands. And I wanted to make this video because I have a few issues with whole diamond hands, paper hands mantra that everyone goes on and on about. So let's have a little chat, you and I. Let's discuss and talk about what are the hidden dangers and the things about having diamond hands that no one actually Actually tells you about. I'm Devin Cook. Whether you have diamond hands or paper hands, you're welcome here and welcome back to Dev Money. So for starters, what does this whole diamond hand, paper hand thing mean and where did it even come from? How did it start? Well, the term first started popping up around 2017, 2018 time period, especially on the Wall Street Bets community on Reddit. And it really became popular in 2020 and in 2021. We can take a look on Google Trends and see that the term had a large uptick in 2020 and another massive uptick in 2021. The increase in the diamond hands term in March of 2020 is pretty obvious. From the February 19th high to the March 23rd bottom, the S&P 500 declined 34% in total. On March 16th alone, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 12.9%, the second biggest single day drop in percentage post World War II. The S&P 500 dropped 12% that same day, its third biggest percentage loss, and the Nasdaq dropped 12.3%, its largest single day percentage drop ever. So with the entire stock market Market plummeting to such an extent that the circuit breakers were triggered to prevent trading multiple times, it's easy to see why the term diamond hands rose in popularity. But in the first part of 2021, we saw the term diamond hands double in popularity, even when compared to that uptick in March of 2020. And the reason for this is almost exclusively because of the Wall Street Bets community on Reddit and GME, otherwise known as GameStop. And to put things very simply, what happened is that the Wall Street Bets community realized that some hedge funds were taking some massive positions, shorting the GameStop stock. And they figured that if they could get enough people on the Wall Street Bets community to buy the GameStop stock, they could artificially increase the price and then force those hedge funds to sell and ultimately lose money. And to make a very long and somewhat complicated story short, it actually worked. Because when the price of the GameStop stock increased due to all the people on Wall Street Bets community buying in, the hedge funds were forced to cut their losses and had to buy GameStop stock at a higher price. And this caused what's called a short squeeze. And a short squeeze happens when a price of a stock is going up, which causes people that are shorting the stock to have to buy it, which causes the stock to go up even higher. And it just forms this cycle where the stock is being bought up and bought up and bought up. And the price can really just go parabolic and just exponentially increase. And this resulted in GameStop stock soaring from a trading price of around $12 to $13 in the first part of 2021 to a peak of $483 in late February. And this resulted in massive attention being brought to the Wall Street Bets community on Reddit, as well as the entire diamond hands term. And this whole situation with GameStop really helped bring the terms diamond hands and paper hands to the public in general. So now you know how the term diamond hands came about. There's really one more thing we got to discuss before we can discuss all the issues associated with the term. Have you ever considered what the purpose of investing is? Why do people invest? Whether it's stocks, crypto, NFTs, real estate, or some other investment. Why did they do it? Why would you put your hard earned money into something like real estate, Bitcoin, NFTs, or GameStop stock? And the answer should hopefully be very simple and you're probably thinking this is pretty obvious, but I need to state it anyway. The only reason someone invests their money into something is with the hopes of making more money from that investment. If you listen to most successful people, especially those who have built massive amounts of wealth, they will tell you that one of the secrets to becoming wealthy is by having your money work for you to create more money. And Robert Kiyosaki really emphasizes this by saying that you need to think of every dollar of yours like a little soldier. And he says that if you deploy your soldiers correctly, they will go out into the world and bring back with them more soldiers, thus strengthening your soldier money army. 
And the definition of investing from Investopedia says that it's the act of allocating resources, usually money, with the expectation of generating an income or profit. And when you think about that definition, you can really see how having diamond hands can probably be pretty beneficial because panic selling due to a market dropping usually results in that investor losing money. Because when the stock market drops or any other investment, you're not necessarily losing money. With the stock market example, you only actually make or lose money when you sell your investment. So if the stock market drops and you sell out a loss, you have cemented your loss. And if you're doing so because you can see the writing on the wall, which is telling you that this company you're invested in is actually gonna go out of business, then you're probably doing the right thing by cutting your losses as soon as possible. But selling strictly because the stock market or whatever your investment is, is going down in value, means one of a couple of different things. One, it can mean that you don't have emotional intelligence or emotional maturity to invest your money at this point. Second, it can mean that you've invested far too much of your money and that you've not set aside an emergency fund or other funds for these exact scenarios. And three, it could mean that you didn't do your due diligence and research when you bought into this product or company and maybe you just FOMO'd in, which means it can be really hard to have conviction in this product or investment when the market is going down. So in some ways, being diamond handed can be really awesome because it can save you from panic selling your investment and cementing losses. And in most cases, like in March of 2020, if you would have kept your investments, you didn't sell and you had diamond hands, you would have come out ahead. In fact, if you didn't sell in March of 2020 and instead you started pouring as much money as possible into the S&P 500 during that time, in just a couple of months, you would have been way up, many times up on your investment. But there's a dark side to having diamond hands that no one really discusses or talks about. And the issue that I have with having diamond hands is that it's not really sustainable. At some point, most investors are gonna wanna take a profit. That's why they invest in the first place. They want a profit. So if you live by this mantra of having diamond hands forever and never ever selling because you're going to the moon, how are you ever gonna cement a profit? And this becomes a big issue when another investment opportunity comes up that in all ways is better than this one that you're having diamond hands in, but because you're not selling, you can't take advantage of this new opportunity that is better in every way. And some people get so blinded by this ideology that they don't make logical investing decisions. The whole idea of having diamond hands can cause people to think things about investments or the stock market that just fundamentally are not true. For example, it is not normal to get 10X or 100X gains on your investment within a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. Those scenarios, like we saw with GameStop, are anomalies and are not the normal case for investing. And if you're modeling your investment strategy off of meme stocks like GameStop, well then you're not investing, you're really gambling. And to help put things into perspective for you, the average investor with an average return sees their money double in about seven to eight years. Let that sink in for a minute. So for everybody watching right now, it is okay to have paper hands, to sell your investments, and to take some profits. Especially when you're investing into cryptocurrencies or NFTs, it can be really easy to be sucked into the hype and think that every investment, every NFT project, every new cryptocurrency is gonna do what Dogecoin did or Solana did and have some massive bull run and you're just gonna make insane profits. And with NFTs, people think they can get an easy 100X return by just buying a new NFT project for under one Ethereum and then selling it for 40 Ethereum or 100 Ethereum like the Bored Apes or like CryptoPunks. So you need to know that not every stock, not every crypto, and not every NFT is going to the moon. In fact, many, and I would say most of them, aren't. There are thousands of cryptocurrencies, thousands of stocks, and thousands of NFT projects. And to think that each of them is gonna see returns like you see with Bitcoin, or with the GameStop stock, or with CryptoPunks is just silly. And if you see an investment skyrocket, or moon as it's commonly called, that's really not the ideal time to get in. You can get in and ride that roller coaster up a little bit, but you can also just as easily ride it all the way down. So don't just live by the mantra of having diamond hands and never selling. If you get anything from this video, know that sometimes you need to have paper hands and that's okay. Diamond hands are great to help you write out an investment that is almost certain to go back up like the S&P 500. But if you got into GameStop or Dogecoin early on and you can hardly believe the numbers you're seeing on the screen because you're getting such crazy returns, there is no shame in having paper hands and cashing out at least a portion of your profits. And in fact, I would say that you're the smartest investor for doing so. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.